Some of the characteristic of these early paintings are human beings are represented in a stick line forms again a long snouted uh, animal like a fox a multi leased uh, leased uh, lizard are main animal motifs of the early paintings like later many any animals were drawn third is wave lines rectangular filled ge geometric design and a group of dots also can be seen fourth is super uh, supreme uh, supreme position of paintings earliest in black then red and later white in the late historic early historic and neolithic uh, period to pre period the subject of paintings developed and figures like bulls elephants sambhars gazelles sheep horses Tall human beings, steady, dident, uh, <coughs> and rarely uh, vegetal motifs uh, begins to say. See, the richest painting are reported from Vindhya ranges of Madhya Pradesh, and their camera, uh, camo uh, extension into UP. This hills are. Uh, fully Paleolithic and Mesolithic remains. There are two major sites of excellent uh, prehistoric painting in India. First is Bheem Bedka foothills of Buddha, uh, Vindhya Ranges, Madhya Pradesh. Uh, second is Jogi Marage, Amarnath, Madhya Pradesh. Some of the general features of prehistoric paintings. First, used colors including various shades of white, yellow, orange, red, ochre, purple, brown, green, and black. Second, but uh, white and red were their favorite colors. Uh, third, the paint used by these people were made by uh, grinding various colored rocks. They bought red from hematite like Kheru uh, a color called in India. Green prepared from a green colored rock called uh, white is probably from limestone. Some sticky substance such as animal fat or gum or resin from trees may be used while mixing rock powder with water. Brushes were made of plant fiber. It is believed that uh, these colors remain thousands of years because of the chemical reaction of the oxide present on surface of rocks. Prehistoric age divided in three parts Paleolithic age, Mesolithic age, Neolithic age. Paleolithic age is also known as Old Stone Age and Megalithic age. Mesolithic age is Middle Time period. Uh, Neolithic age is New Stone Age. Uh, the prehistoric period in the early development of human beings is commonly known as the Old Stone Age or Paleolithic age. The Paleolithic period can be divided into three phases. First is Lower Paleolithic, second is Middle Paleolithic, third is Upper Paleolithic. Lower Paleolithic age time is 2.5 million years to 1 uh, lakh years ago. Middle Paleolithic time is uh, 3 lakh years to uh, 30,000 years ago. Uh, third is Upper Paleolithic Age. Upper Paleolithic time is 40,000 to 10,000 years ago. We did not can get any evidence of paintings from Lower or Middle Paleolithic Age yet. 
in the upper paleolithic period we see the uh, proliferation of artist activities uh, subject of early uh, works confined to simple human figures human activities geometric designs and symbols second is mesolithic uh, period art a largest number of painting belongs to this period themes multiply but the paintings are small in size hunting scene predominate uh, uh, hunter in uh, hunters in group armed and brave spears pointed sticks arrows and bows trap and its nails uh, used to catch animal can be uh, seen in some paintings mesolithic people love to point animals uh, the in uh, some pictures animals are chasing uh, men and in other they are being chased by hunter men animals painted in a uh, naturalistic style and human were depicted in a stylistic manner women are point, uh, painted both in nude and cloth young and old equality find places in paintings community dances provide a common theme sort of family life can be seen in some paintings like women men and children upper paleolithic period it's called also uh, neolithic age paintings are linear representation in green and dark red of huge animal figures such as uh, bison tigers elephant rhinos and uh boars reside uh, stuck like human figure mostly they are filled with geometric patterns green paintings are of dancers and red ones is hunter third time is charcolithic period art it's called also copper age art the painting of this period reveal the association contact and mutual exchange of requirement of the cave dealers of this area with settled agriculture communities of the malwa village pottery and metal tools can be seen in paintings similarities with rock paintings common motifs design patterns like uh, cross hairs squares letters etc the different uh, difference with uh, rock paintings uh, wildness and the vitality of older uh, periods disappear for, uh, from the painting prehistoric period paleolithic age mesolithic age and charcolithic age the drawings and paintings can be categorized in seven historical uh, periods uh, period first upper paleolithic period second mesolithic period third charcolithic after period third there are four successive periods uh, but we will confine ourselves here only to the first three phases the historic era art uh, denotes the uh, art mainly rock paintings during uh, paleolithic age mesolithic age and uh, charcolithic age madhya pradesh ki anton rockshaw the locally known as Upari uh, and, and around Panthari in the Mahalayal, the local hymn of Panthari is five hearts, which are believed to have been used by Panda Dev in uh, their regret. First cave 
मिथिकल एनिमल्स लाइक टीयर्स गॉड्स हंटर्स एंड म्यूजिशियंस एग्जीक्यूटेड इन वाइट पिगमेंट विद रेड आउटलाइट सेकेंड इज द नेक्स्ट पेंटिंग शेल्टर इज नेबूज क्लोज टू लश्करिया को वी फाइंड हेयर रेड एंड वाइट पेंटिंग्स द थर्ड सेंटर ऑफ पेंटिंग्स इज एमली को situated on the way of way to the uh, fairy pool here in two cases these uh, these are black figures uh, supreme posed on five wings bold red uh, by red lines they include a very natural gold hunt leaping animals and soldiers uh, engaged in fighting The next important shelter, uh, Bhadari, uh, is on the road to Piparia, some three kilometers north uh, uh, of uh, the bus station. A painting on the ceiling, a uh, ceiling shows a tiger taking a crop of uh, people. Uh, animals uh, guarded by hunters uh, women with water pots men with musical drums and soldiers with bows and arrows are the main subject of the painting banya bari is another shelter north of the bus station the wings inside the shelter show scenes of daily life like wood cutting cattle herding group dancing and performing rituals the relay drawings of pigments cow testifies the knowledge of uh, resolution on the part of the artist we create the discovery of the beam weight calculus in 1957 Indian archaeologist Dr. Vishnu Vapan Panyat is very impressed by the scene from the window of a train south from Obedulagach. There were visible giant rocks and boulders and dark dark and trees in the area. Beam Vedka gives continuous occupation of the caves from when like we do 1000 it is considered as an evidence of long cultural uh, continuity it was discovered in 1957 that the cave consists of nearly 400 painted rock shelters in five clusters one of the oldest painting in india and the world upper palaeolithic the features of paintings of three different pieces are as follows uh, uh, even through bhim bhirka uh, contains many paintings of uh, periods later different from uh, what is explained below as we are dealing with the prehistoric period only we uh, are in uh, comes concluding by these three Themes. Art of Bhim Bedka is characterized by inventive designs and touch throughout countless uh, generations. They have been expressing many people with uh, invaluable uh, skills in drawing and skillful uh, handling of colors. Painting in Bhim Bedka provide much information about the lives of prehistoric people. from their birth to that these drawings include the scenes of festivals religious rites daily work and hunting scenes show uh, uh, 
also fights of animals collection of honey uh, body decoration among the animals are shown by sun tiger lion wild boar elephants with uh, tusk uh, antelopes dogs lizard crocodiles peacocks uh, snakes and others in total there have been uh, counted it uh, 17817 drawings of him 779 of these are adult men out of 428 uh, animals 185 are horses one well no drawing shows hunter and trouble it depicts oversized bison and uh, a pursuit of uh, one hunter to other people stand by helpless the these drawings no diverse animals various riding on horse and animal elephant uh, and various are armed and shout uh, for and shields bows arrows spears daggers paintings were found both from occupied and unoccupied caves it means that these paintings were sometimes used also as some sort of signals wearing at that time many rocks art site of the new paintings are painted on top of an older paintings in pindeka we can see nearly 20 layers of painting one on top of another it shows the gradual development of the human being from uh, period to uh, period the symbolism is inspiration from uh, natural along with uh, slight is spirituality expression uh, expression of ideas through very few drawings like represent of men by the stick like uh, drawings use of many geometric patterns scenes were mainly hunting and economic and social life of people the figures of flora fauna human mythical creatures uh, cards uh, charoids uh, or uh, at extra can be seen more importance of red and white colors thank you